In September 2023, Ireland witnessed its most significant cocaine seizure during a high-profile event on the cargo ship MV Matthew. This incident triggered an extensive law enforcement inquiry that unfolded after the interception, revealing a staggering 2.25 tons of cocaine. Subsequently, authorities apprehended nine individuals and interviewed all 25 crew members. The investigation quickly established a connection between the seized cocaine ship and two notorious criminal organizations, the Kinahan Cartel and the Scottish Mafia. However, the ties between these European criminal powerhouses extend beyond this particular event. Some observers have gone so far as to label the Kinahan Cartel as the Irish counterpart to the Scottish Mafia, and this characterization is not unfounded. In this video, we will explore the intricate details of this ominous alliance. Let's delve into it. Over the past two decades, Christy Kinahan, with his sons Daniel and Christopher Jr., and a formidable armed group, has significantly expanded their illicit activities beyond Dublin. Their criminal influence now extends across a substantial portion of Europe's cocaine imports, as well as operations involving arms smuggling, cybercrime, extortion, and money laundering. Their clientele includes Mexican cartels, Asian jihadists, and more recently, Iran's intelligence services. The Kinahans have also entered into dealings related to military technology and aircraft, further solidifying their presence in a network of nefarious enterprises. Establishing themselves as key facilitators in the criminal underworld, they serve as intermediaries connecting South American suppliers with European buyers. Their methods closely resemble those uncovered during the interception of a cocaine shipment off the Cork coast, where the Kinahans collaborated with the Colombian drug cartel El Clan del Golfo. While suspicions suggest the Scottish mob's involvement in managing the European leg of the operation, the Kinahan cartel's ties to organized crime in Scotland add complexity to the investigation. Notably, Daniel Kinahan's associate Sandra Vaughan, former CEO of MTK Global, a boxing firm linked to Daniel, has a history with Scottish drug dealer Kevin Kelly. As the intricate web is unraveled, deeper connections between the Kinahan cartel and Scottish organized crime emerge. Kevin Kelly initially entered a business partnership in a Marbella construction venture with the Kinahans, but their association took a dark turn with the discovery of a thwarted kidnapping plot in Spain. Simultaneously, the U.S. Department of Treasury accused the Kinahan gang of using the Glasgow-based vodka brand Nero Drinks as a front for laundering drug profits. Led by Johnny Morrissey with his wife Nicola as the primary shareholder, Nero Drinks appeared innocuous but concealed a more intricate nature. Morrissey, deeply involved in organized crime and considered the Kinahan's chief financial facilitator, was arrested in September 2022. Following his apprehension, Spanish authorities dismantled Europe's largest Hawala narco bank, recognized for its extensive involvement in money laundering operations. Morrissey is suspected of annually laundering around 300 million euros from drug proceeds, cleverly channeling the funds into cryptocurrencies. A closer examination reveals the Kinahan cartel's significant infiltration into Scottish society, utilizing it as a laundering hub for the proceeds from their illicit transactions. In Glasgow, the criminal landscape is defined by two rival families, the Daniels and the Lyons, entangled in over 70 territorial conflicts as they fiercely compete for dominance in Scotland's drug market. The Lyons family, in particular, has gained notoriety for engaging in various criminal activities, including drug trafficking, extortion, violence, and organized crime, making them one of the most influential criminal forces in Scotland since the 1990s. The family's humble origins evolved into a rapid expansion that extended their influence across diverse territories, reaching multiple countries. Currently, their operations span the United Kingdom, Spain, and even the United Arab Emirates. Over two decades, they have been deeply entrenched in a deadly feud with the Daniel family, another criminal group based in Glasgow. This feud, lasting for more than 20 years, has seen numerous shootings, some fatal, and others narrowly avoiding fatalities. Firebombings, assaults involving knives and machetes, and the day-to-day -day operations of drug trafficking have all been part of this intense conflict. The animosity began in the summer of 2001, when the Daniels clan lost a significant stash of cocaine from a Milton residence, subsequently traded with the Lions gang. Feeling a threat to their territory, the Lions responded aggressively, sparking a conflict that significantly reshaped the crime landscape in the region. 
In December 2006, Lamhill, Glasgow, saw the dramatic Apple Row Motors ambush. Linked to the Daniels, Raymond Anderson and James McDonald targeted a garage owned by a Lyons family member, resulting in a brief but intensely violent confrontation. Sadly, one man lost his life, while two others, including future Lyons leader Stephen Lyons, barely survived. Anderson and McDonald were later convicted and sentenced to prison. The turmoil continued with the targeted killing of a significant Daniels member, Kevin Carroll, known as Gerbil. Carroll's connection to the Lyons family traced back to his school days, where he was a victim of their bullying. This association pushed him closer to the Daniels, earning him the infamous moniker Public Enemy No. 1. In 2010, while parked at a supermarket, Carroll fell victim to a targeted attack. Masked gunmen arrived, firing shots into the back seat of his locked Audi, resulting in his instant death, and the entire attack unfolded within a mere 25 seconds. Subsequent investigations identified Billy Peterson, a significant figure in the Lyons family, as one of the gunmen in the targeted attack. He received a life sentence for his role in the crime, marking a crucial turning point for the Lyons gang. After surviving the 2006 shooting, Stephen Lyons sought refuge in Spain and reportedly formed connections with the Kinahan cartel. This alliance injected fresh vigor into the Lyons, strengthening their position in the ongoing territorial conflict and providing the Kinahans with a lucrative avenue to sell drugs in Scotland. Lyons further solidified his ties with the Kinahans by relocating to Dubai. Notably, the Lyons gang experienced substantial growth, significantly consolidating their influence by 2016. A pivotal shift occurred with the unfortunate passing of Jamie, the leader of the Daniels family, succumbing to cancer. This event significantly altered the balance of power, tilting it in favor of the Lyons, a shift highlighted by a surge in violence in 2017 including a brutal assault on Stephen Bonzo Daniel. In May 2017, using a concealed tracker, the Lions gang pursued Stephen Daniel's car, resulting in a high-speed chase that concluded on an off-ramp. The confrontation escalated into a violent attack on Stephen Daniel, involving knives and machetes. Despite the intensity of the assault, he managed to survive. In subsequent legal proceedings, Stephen Daniel denied any ongoing rivalry between the Daniels and the Lions, with both groups preferring to keep their conflict off the legal radar. Despite law enforcement launching Operation Engagement to curb the feuding clans, the conflict persisted, resulting in more casualties, arson incidents, and assaults. Additionally, the decryption of EncroChat secured servers played a vital role in disrupting criminal operations during this tumultuous period. A significant incident involved Glasgow's drug kingpin, Darren Collin, known as Big Papa, who held considerable respect in influential circles in Costa del Sol, Dubai, and Dublin. His robust connections extended to both the Lions Gang and the Kinahan Cartel. Big Papa's methods in Scotland earned admiration even from the upper echelons of these criminal organizations. The drug kingpin faced an eight-year jail sentence after police cracked an encrypted phone, linking him to a 1.3 million euros stash of heroin and cocaine, along with a substantial amount of cash. The connection between Scotland and the Kinahans was solidified through Robert Kelby, associated with the Lions Gang. Kelby played a pivotal role in setting up a gym in the Canary Islands linked to the Kinahans. Despite surviving three assassination attempts, Kelby frequently appears alongside Tyson Fury, also connected to Daniel Kinahan. The collaboration between the Kinahan and Lions families was close-knit, strategically boosting their illegal earnings through a series of violent acts in Scotland. However, with the Irish mob placed on the U.S. Most Wanted list, the Kinahans have distanced themselves from various affiliates, including the Lions. This distancing leaves the latter vulnerable, especially with a $15 million bounty hanging over the Kinahan cartel. The increased pressure has shifted focus to Scotland's underworld, and Glasgow, already holding the unsettling record for the highest number of drug-related deaths in Europe, becomes a critical center of attention. The ongoing feud between the Lions Gang and the Daniels Clan has transformed Glasgow into a hub for criminal activity. This situation is further compounded by the potential halt in the supply of high-quality narcotics to the Lions if the Kinahan cartel severs ties. Such a move could potentially plunge Scotland's criminal landscape into even greater chaos. That wraps up today's video. What are your thoughts on the topic discussed? Share your opinions in the comments and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more upcoming content.